Hi there, how are you doing? My name is Dara and welcome back to Code Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. I got another question and it goes thus. I am interested in DevOps. How do I start with no IT background? Thanks for your question and honesty. Although this question is a bit related to the previous one I answered, but I'll still answer it anyways. So with no IT background, yes, it is possible to learn DevOps and become a very highly skilled DevOps engineer but you need to be serious about it, okay? Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, you probably need to watch it uh, because it explained some things I will not touch in this video. To learn DevOps engineering without IT background, of course, you need to know how to operate a computer. That is the first requirement. Know how to operate a computer made properly. Uh, understand how to find a way around and get a proper computer, at least 8 gig RAM, 256 SSD so you are not frustrated when you're actually in this sense because the tools you actually use are a little bit beefy to get a comfortable computer to be able to learn get hands on with a computer be able to find your way around the computer it could be a Mac could be Windows could be Linux it doesn't matter what operating system you're using don't be fudged up about hey, it's gotta be a Mac no you can use any operating system to learn DevOps. I am primarily a Windows person. I've been using this for over 10 years with no regrets. Although I use a Mac also from time to time and Linux when I need to. Operating system is not something you need to worry yourself about. Get a complete system, be comfortable with it, and then get the tools, get uh, tutorial videos, or if your preference is books, there are a lot of books online you can actually read. I'll drop the links to some of those books in the video description so you can check them out and some of the videos and also you might also want to check out my smooth dev, smooth dev side of the playlist so you can check out um what things you need to learn in terms of software development life cycle uh devops tooling how to deploy applications to the cloud etc although as a beginner you need to learn a little bit more uh because you don't have any IT background, so you need to understand SDLC, as I mentioned in the previous video, you need to understand uh, a bit of programming, so you are conversant with actually how programmers think. You need to understand a bit of scripting language, and then also, of course, learning your DevOps tools. Now, depending on the technology stack you pick, I will still use Azure DevOps as an example here. You need to learn, of course, the cloud you'll be deploying to, for example, Azure, AWS, GCP, Learn the fundamentals of that cloud platform. Then learn your DevOps tooling. Now, because you're new with my experience, it actually makes it a little bit easier for you because you're coming with a fresh mind that is not clouded with any bias against any platform. So pick the cloud. I would recommend you learn Azure, but of course you can learn other clouds if that is your preference. But say for example, learn Azure fundamentals. There's a lot of modules on Microsoft Learn. I'll also drop the links in this video to those things. So, and I also itemize them also in the video description. And I'll probably even write a blog post about it in the future so you can actually reference it via text. So, get the books. A lot of free books are online. Get the videos. Or you can check out Microsoft Learn for the pathway to being a DevOps engineer. So, you start from the fundamentals of learning about Azure. Learn about Azure development, the basic tools of programming. Learn the Azure DevOps itself, the tooling. Uh, you learn things like Azure boards. You learn things like uh, pipelines. You learn things like artifacts. And then it will walk you through practically, step by step, what you actually need to do to get something deployed. And of course, when you're learning, you need to set, sign up for some free trial accounts. And the reason most of those free trial accounts have data assigned to them is so you don't burn out. So once you start learning, stick to it and try to complete your learning within the timeline of your free trial because it might be hard to actually get out of free trial when you're having the same account to use with them. So whenever you're learning, stay stick to it. I understand you have no IT background, but it is definitely 100% possible to learn Azure DevOps. I have taught people who literally have no experience in the cloud, no computer experience coming from a very different field to computing, but they still succeeded in being great DevOps engineers. So I believe in you. I know you can do this. So as a recap of what I've actually talked about all in this video, you need to get yourself a computer, get comfortable with that computer, and then get books 
or videos, whatever your preference is, on things you need to learn. Uh, I recommend you go to Microsoft to learn because they have a lot of detailed modules, practical steps, step-by-step -step guides on how you can actually get your project up and running with whatever pathway you're going through on the learning platform. And of course, there are also some practice tests at the end where you can do to feel comfortable with whatever you're learning. And I hope that answered your question a little bit. If you still have further questions or you need more clarifications on the answer I've given, you can still ask further questions or make a comment on this video and I'll get to them as soon as possible. And if you have new questions, use the link showing on your screen right now or the QR code showing right about now on your screen. And remember to like this video, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so you don't miss any videos like this one. Until I come your way again with another video on my channel, stay safe and goodbye.